Hello everyone, uh, this is Ayanshu Devavrata and welcome all of you to the second video of this series of Combined Geoscientist Mains Examination Sources and Book List and in this video we are going to cover the uh, resources for paper 2 and the, in the previous video I have covered the resources for paper 1 and you can go and watch that video and I also request you to please uh, share this video to your friends uh, who are preparing for the mains examination and also subscribe to my channel and with this uh, let's go uh, further to discover all the resources for paper 2. So keeping the same format as uh, the syllabus to the left and the contents to the right we will be covering now the paper 2 resources which will cover five subjects such as mineralogy, geochemistry and isotope geology, igneous petrology, metamorphic petrology and geodynamics. So let's see what we have in there. So in the section A we will be dealing with mineralogy and the resources are uh, more or less known by each and everyone who, belong, who belongs to geology because it has been taught in our graduation so for the first part that is the crystallography part so crystallography part uh, i followed the first few chapters of wd nese mineralogy book and then uh, km bangar is also useful for the revision part and for, moreover the optical mineralogy and the crystallography and the group minerals all the syllabus have been covered by tulane university notes these are excellent notes by professor stephen nelson and uh, it's very useful for any kind of entrance examination you are appearing whether it is gate net or gsi and for mineral group you can follow any uh, standard book such as rutley perkins or such as advanced books such as uh, jusman or any uh, like the klein and dotro so any kind of book you find suitable for yourself you can do that and other uh, than these resources if you find any heading that is coming in the previous year questions you can simply google search and find the suitable material for you so section b deals with the geochemistry and isotope geology so for this uh, you can follow any good geochemistry book like william white or kc mishra uh, and you will be seeing that only the chapterization is different otherwise the content is more or less available and I personally followed the JD Winter Chemical Petrology chapter which covers more uh, most of these uh, headings and any kind of topic that I find missing in those books I just google search them and also found some of them in the quality research papers from internet then comes the isotope part so isotope part is mainly available in most of the geology books you can find them in Gary Nichols you can find them in some geodynamics books you can find them also in some igneous and metamorphic petrology books so from anywhere you are finding the required content and you are thinking that yes these are sufficient to write in the examination then you just follow them and enrich your content there so for igneous petrology if we see the way the syllabus has been written so it mainly deals with three things the generation and the uh, characteristics of magma then the types of mantle melting the phase diagrams and its relevance to rock formation and then the third part is the petrogenesis of different kinds of rocks and large igneous provinces so for them i followed the earth materials and jd winter and tulane university also uh, and for quick revision i followed km bangar you might not need them if you have a very strong foundation in geology or uh, igneous geology then you uh, might not need km bangar but uh, some part of geochemistry is also helpful here because the REE diagrams for different kinds of rocks that you have been taught in the geochemistry uh, is also going to help you to enrich your content for the petrogenesis part and any kind of topic that is missing so you can clearly go to the internet and see the different kind of igneous textures and their diagrams so all those things you can cover through internet Another thing is for the phase diagrams, uh, there is a chapter in JD Winter, but you might not find all those headings there. So you have to just search through the book and you will be finding them in different chapters, like two or three headings you might not find in the uh, chapter three, I think, in which the phase diagrams are there. But in chapter nine or 10, you will be 
finding them so just uh, do a bit of hard work uh, search through them and you will be getting your content then comes the metamorphic petrology and for metamorphic petrology uh, winter earth material tulane university the same as igneous uh, you can follow them and you will be getting all the contents required for the examination and for the uh, different kinds of uh, the rock formation that is the metamorphism of pelitic calcareous basic rocks so for them you can uh, follow crisp notes of epg partshala with uh, very good diagrams and short descriptions and after uh, reading all those things if you are finding that uh, some topics you are missing out then you can uh, search any igneous metamorphic book like if you search the whole metamorphic section of jd winter so in between them you will be finding that some headings have been mentioned there which might not be taught to you in your classroom uh, education of pg or ug so that's why you have to do certain bit of hard work to find the topics so that you can enrich your content then the last section comes uh, with geodynamics so for this section i followed km banger uh, just like the physical geology of paper one so you can correlate the first chapter of paper one to the last chapter of paper two so from km banger and kerry and vine uh, global tectonics book i found most of the content and with very good diagrams also and for the heat flow section you can follow solid earth geophysics uh, a book uh, called solid earth geophysics and also some portion of jd winter and the first chapter i think from jd winter you will be finding the content and uh, along with them uh, you can also uh, see some of the uh, contents in internet or youtube videos like the supercontinental cycles if you want to visualize that how it is happening or the uh, polarity reversals or the polar wandering so all those things you will be finding in the internet and there are there are very uh, few things uh, that you can correlate with other chapters such as the rheology of rocks and fluids it is related also related to the structural geology part and the rock magnetism and its origin so this thing has also application in the geophysics part if you if you have prepared for gate or net and uh, if you have prepared the magnetism part so this rock magnetism and its origin uh, is also going to be covered so with this uh, i think uh, yes we have covered the syllabus of paper 2 and uh, thank you all for your patience and listening to the resources and in the next video uh, we will be dealing with the, uh, the resources for paper 3 that is the ore and economic geology also engineering and fuel so till then uh, stay tuned for the next video and have a wonderful day thank you